All right, welcome back to U4. So, 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 so. Now I'm the kingdom of God. This is good. I just need... Well, I don't really need anything at this point, really. Hmm. Because, yeah, I've got Milan. Well, I need Sicily. Yeah, Sicily is the thing that I need. So, perhaps I should look into maybe betraying Spain. Or maybe I just keep colonizing Africa. I can get some good money from that shit, so I kind of like that idea. Not gonna lie. I might do that. Yeah, the problem with me fighting Spain is the fact that they're allied to France, and I don't want to fight France. So I have to call France to a dummy war. And then even still fighting Spain is going to suck because their navy is a lot stronger than mine. In fact, I actually figured out exactly how much stronger their navy is than mine. So the game music feels a wee bit loud. Okay, that's good. So, uh, what was I looking for? Oh yes, Spain's fleet size. Spain has a fleet of 16 heavies and 7 galleys. Actually, so long as I only fight them in inland seas, I might be able to beat their uh, combat, their, their warships. Yeah, I actually have the means to have a... Well, no, they have a means to have a better fleet than I do, but... They're using their fleet more for trade than warfare. And I'm using my fleet pretty much strictly for warfare. Alright. Hmm. Yeah, all of the Maghreb is in the trade area, right? Good. Yeah, so I want to kill off Morocco because I'm tired of them raiding me. Ooh, actually. Oh, Morocco, you lovely person, you. You colonized the uh, Sahara, so I can actually get down to uh, Timbuktu and shit. Hell yeah. Good lad. Choose with Ottomans, isn't it? Oh well. Might be an issue. Might not be. We'll see. Oh, my theologian died. He's a bastard. Now yeah, let's get this guy. Fuck it. He's expensive, but I really just want as many monarch points as possible. Trading in glass. Good. Ugh. Yeah, trading glass and wine. Those are both really good ones. Trade company investments. I could build some more. Problem is, they're really expensive. Yeah, you can also only build one of the thousand uh, ducat ones in an area. Eh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, so who do I want to attack? I'm currently holding against the border of Germany because of the fact that I'm in a war in Germany right now. But, nah. I could probably just ignore it. It's a little while until I can actually annex uh, Milan, so that sucks. Actually, is Milan still angry at me? Or are they happy? They're happy. Good. And I just completed a mission accidentally. Cool. England? Yeah, I'll rival back England. Do I rival Spain, though? Because I do want Sicily. Hmm. I don't think I rival Spain just yet, although the game has forced me to choose a third rival because it's a bitch. Hmm. I don't really want to rival Poland, although Poland's not my ally anymore, so I don't want to rival Muscovy because they're far away. And I definitely don't want to rival France because I have no reason to hate France. Hmm. Uh, do I just take the penalties? Well, the problem is the power projections are going to keep going down by one a year forever. Which sucks. I don't want Spain to be my rival just yet, though. Maybe I just do it. Yeah, let, let's just embargo Spain and then uh, set them as a rival. Boom. And while I'm at it, let's uh, insult the Ottomans. 
There we go. So yeah, hopefully the fact that I'm rivals with France's rival will make them want to stay buddies with me, hopefully. That'd be great. Also, I'm 10 years ahead of time, so that's whatever. Reduce Navy attrition, cool. Yeah, I have most of the power in Venice. I should probably start collecting there, because there's some good money to be made. Alexandria, Tunis, and Champagne. Milan is also pulling towards Genoa, but they have less power. Oh, God, that's actually kind of tricky. I guess Alexandria, I suppose. Ugh, come on. Really? Rebel scum. 4253, 59, 21. I think I'm making more money from trade. Yeah, I'm making more money overall. Damn bastard rebels. Yeah, I don't want to have to bring my damn European army down here. I'd rather just deal this with like an Africa army. But no, I'm not allowed to apparently. Because the rebels are going to show up. But I'm not ready, because they're bastards. Alright, let's bring you back to Europe. Yeah, let's make an Africa army. So what's the supply look like in Africa? Actually, let's let's land you guys again. And I know there's a supply map mode. I don't think I have it ticked, though. Okay, so 30 units can chill in Africa pretty well, actually. At least Northern Africa. I don't know about Sub-Saharan Africa, though. Yeah. I think having an army of, like... 15, yeah, I'm thinking maybe like 15 infantry, uh, 15 cannons, maybe I'll put in some cavalry, because I'm not going to be having a full line, and, well, no, that, that's more just a reason not have cavalry, because cavalry is more expensive for something that isn't even freaking worth it. Alright, let's pull you guys back, and, yeah, let's start making an Africa army. Alright, there we go. Let's just call this, like, the Africa, I guess. Africa template. There we go. Yeah, I don't normally do this. I usually just, like, have big stompy boy armies. <laughs> but, meh. Wait, did I actually make these mercs? Because they feel like they're training extremely fast. Well, well no, that's not how mercs work anymore, duh. I'm fucking, fucking stupid. No, <laughs> God damn it. And I completely forgot how mercenaries worked for a second there. Well, no, I didn't forget how they worked. I was just remembering how they used to work. Oh, <laughs> uh, damn it. Alright. Alright, anything below 10? No. Anything close to their next thing? Yeah, I'll do development there. Might even do development here. I don't know. Uh, 37. That's very expensive to develop, though. And just get some extra tax out in a bit. Austria broke their alliance. What? Oh, Austria's a heretic and they probably joined the Protestant side. Uh, well, they didn't join the Protestant side. They just broke their alliance for some reason. That's weird. They are still a heretic, though, so. Eh. I'm going to be honest, Austria isn't really too useful to me anymore, so. Also, here we have global trade. Sadly, the English beat me. Because the English Channel is just a lot easier to get money into than Genoa or Venice. I tried beating the uh, English by colonizing Africa, but I wasn't fast enough. Have a church in Molise. Um... Complete when the following is fulfilled. Yeah, I don't think I'm doing that one. Alright, so Mo I'm developing Molise either way. Um, yeah, the admin tech is more important to me, so... Yeah, let's go ahead and go to Molise and do some uh, production. There we go. 
Excellent, I even got some monies. Yeah, I don't know if uh, just this 130k stack will be good enough for my entire Africa army. Although I don't really have too much more space to build more units, so that's kind of awkward. And, oh god, I only have France and ally? Oh, fuck. Yeah, I rivaled Spain. And then Austria and Poland both had a hissy fit. Yeah, now I'm left with France and my two vassals. Well, shit. Alright. Um, I guess I'll buddy up with Bohemia then. <laughs> Ain't that a fucking twist? I know I spent pretty much the entire game being a dick to Bohemia. And now I'm like, oh yeah, they're, they're fine. It's not too bad. <laughs> and yeah, this army can chill everywhere in Africa. Well, okay, she can't chill everywhere, but if I give it a general, it might be able to do something. Because I think the general over there, yeah, has five maneuvers, so he can do pretty much anything. Yeah, I guess I'll give you the, uh, this guy, since he's the best general, and we're going to be doing warfare in Africa, so. Alright, yeah, let's just invade the, uh, the Moroccans. I want to ideally remove all of their coastal provinces so they can't raid me anymore. Or at least remove their coastal provinces up to... Actually, wait, does it count the sea zone? I don't... I don't know if it counts the sea zone that the province is in. Oh yeah, I think it does, actually. Yeah, because, cause, yeah, thinking of my... Uh, one of my Knights games recently. Yeah, no, I can only raid up to, like, here... Yeah, I can also raid up to the Gulf Farnes. Yeah, it counts the province. So actually, I, if I want to protect Rome... Actually, I think I also kind of want to protect Sicily, or not Sicily, well, actually, yeah, Sicily, and Cardin Sardinia, and Corsica. God damn it. I don't know why I've been struggling with fucking island names this entire campaign, but whatever. So I need to remove everything up to, uh, Melilla? And then Morocco can no longer raid my core territory. They can raid my, uh, they, they can raid my, uh, colonial area, but they can't raid my core territory, so that's all fine with me. And actually, if I keep them with a navy, they can still raid Spain and Portugal, so honestly, I don't feel too bad about that. Yeah, so I think basically use Morocco as like a sort of eh, counterbalancing to uh, Spain's thick economy. Hmm, if France get into more debt, though, I could just attack Spain, that'd be nice. Although, if I do go to war Spain, I might have to give up Africa. Yeah, whatever, I'll think about that when I'm planning to attack Spain. Right now, I'm planning to attack Morocco, so... Deus vult! Yeah, the Moroccan fleet is, a uh, shit, probably. Improve relationship with Milan? Uh, cool. I'll have to figure out how to make Milan like me. Ooh, is that a, uh... Some transports that I see. Excellent. How many men does Morocco have? Morocco has a lot of men. And actually, yeah, they might cause me some problems. Because they've got, like, a properly sized army. Oh, shit. I sunk their flagship? Good. Fuck your flagship, bitch. Yeah, let's get an admiral. He's shit, but he'll get the job done. Oh, this bitch, he's gonna, like, force my ships out to say, You bastard, that's my job. I don't really want to enter the Highland, unfortunately. But it's fine, mostly, I guess. Oh, is this a rough terrain? No, it's not, damn. Damn, damn, damn. Oh, well. Yeah, I might have to bring, like, my European army over here, because I don't think uh, this war is gonna be very easy if I don't do that. Oh, the knights are here. They're just chilling. Yeah, let's see. So they've got... Yeah, their army size is about the same as mine. It's a little bit bigger. Yeah, I've got like a good general. And do I have a tech advantage? Oh, I have two techs out of them. Oh, they're so fucked. They are so fucked. Yeah, that was just a slaughter. And I could probably just slaughter the rest of their army as well, too. Oh, this poor bastard is attacking me in the highlands. Oh. 
Oh, it's good shit. Now let's go ahead and take uh, this fort here because that'll prevent Morocco from retreating behind it. Or they'll have to go through it in order to get over here. So pretty much either way, I want to take this fort because it'll just fuck with Morocco's ability to fight me. So yeah, what do I need? I need 359, okay. And then I get extra arty combat, which is all well and good. Yeah, I also want to push the Mamluks back. Uh, push them back to probably Egypt. Because yeah, if I could, actually, if I could take uh, Alexandria, I could just build a fort there and then the Mamluks would struggle to get to me. Oh shit, I ran out of fucking space. Why am I always running out of space, man? Shit. There's another 17 development province. Yeah, that can boost. There we go. Austria joined the Protestant League because Austria's a little bitch. Now, well, I'm ready to fight the uh, the reformists once uh, once I'm done with this war with Morocco. Ideally, though, I wouldn't have to fight them because they would just like not be bastards about it. Oh yeah, like all these enemy armies are just shit. I can just like walk all over them, it's great. Yeah, Milan physically can't get over here. So I don't really have the means to like rely on them. Alright, you're dead, good. Alright, I fucking... Ah. I hate the new thing where it's like, oh yeah, we're gonna open up this other menu instead of just releasing another unit to siege the fucking province. Didn't they add, like, a way to change your hotkeys? I swear they did. Reset keyboard shortcuts. Um, There is a way to do it. I know that for a fact. I just don't know how to do it. Because I need to change my fucking hotkeys because I hate that. Oh, uh, what the f What now? Milanese pretenders have risen up. Cool. Could you not do that, though? I lost prestige, oh well. I lose more prestige, but I gain monarch points, so again, oh well, I don't really care. One more month and I could probably grab, uh, stuff. Alright, you go there. You guys will come and help with the fort. Now you guys will do this. Good. Good shit. Um, Alright, let's grab... Quality. Excellent. And yeah, I can use both these policies. So reduce war exhaustion, which is great. Increase diplomatic is also great. Extra morale of armies and extra siege ability, also great. Also, yeah, as I was defender of the faith, I already had no war exhaustion, but now I have even less war exhaustion. It's fucking great. <laughs> and unfortunately. That happened, so I'm actually just gonna get a bunch of mercantilism tech. Or not mercantilism, just get mercantilism, not mercantilism tech. Dumbass. Yeah, Morocco's pretty much dead at this point. And yeah, if I leave them with uh, these two provinces, so Sale and Tituhan, then they can raid up to the Lewis Tanian Sea. The Gulf of Valencia and the Barbary Coast. And I don't care too much about my colonial holdings, so I don't mind if they raid that. But I want them to have as much raiding possibility against the Iberians as possible. And yeah, their raiding potential is completely just dead against me. They can't raid me anymore. Or at least raid me anywhere where it matters. Alright, you lose, mermaid man. Alright, let's see. I might just take as much land as possible, to be honest. More land is more good. Yeah, just take... I don't care if Muslims are going to join a coalition against me. Oh, Venice would apparently join a coalition against me. God damn it, Venice. Hmm. How much land can I even take? Like, damn. Hmm. I 
I'm kind of tempted to actually just take these coastal provinces here. But no, I want them to be able to raid Iberia. You know, actually, I'm not going to push past here. Because having a fort in Tillisman here is actually really good for just preventing any access uh, east from here. Eh, yeah, I guess I'll just take your money. Oh. Really wish the shift click thing actually worked. Shift plus left mouse button to set to as much as they are willing to accept. It don't work like that, but okay. Hmm. Bit of an issue, but it's all fine. We got the coral button. <laughs> it's all good. Wait, what? This is in... Oh, that, that's fucky right there. Yeah, that's a little bit fucky. I understand what's going on here, but it's fucky. <laughs> yeah, so I can actually do a trade company in five provinces of the Sevilla node, which is weird. It's weird, I don't like it. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, the Africa army is, uh, they've done well. They, they completely, like, met my expectations. Oh yeah, we are going to have some problems around here, so I guess I'll leave these guys to suppress rebels for a while. And since the next admin tech is pretty important, I'm not going to take a uh, tech for a while. Or I'm not going to not take tech, I'm going to... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm going to wait to take tech, and then I'll continue expanding. Also, I need universities for a few things. I need them for a mission, I believe. Yes, I need three universities, and I need it for the next ages, uh, one of its bonuses. Alliance with Scotland. I was surprised you still exist. Actually, you haven't even lost that much land, either. Yeah, you lost a little bit, but not that much. And I'm not going to take it, though, because, honestly... Eh, actually, I probably should... Well, actually, no, I'm already protecting Scotland from England, because England is not Catholic. So, I'm already protecting Scotland. Let's see here. Uh, let's bring you back over to Trevisio. Uh, can I annex you yet? No, it's still two years. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I don't know how well I'll actually do in... Uh, in the Morocco trade node. Or what is it called? The Safi trade node. Yeah, I don't know like how much trade power I'll get there. Because I need like 50% of the trade power or whatever. Uh, you must have at least 51% of the province trade power in the region to become a, a dominant trade power. And I currently control most of it in Tunis. Yeah, I don't know if I'll have that with just these two problems, especially considering that Morocco has two level 3 centers of trade, and Spain has two. So, yeah, I don't think I'm going to have. I'll have, like, maybe a third, but mm, it's not great. Alright, so what's the uh, League War looking like? Uh, not great. Poland and Austria are on the other side. Brandenburg's leading it. Denmark and England are on the other side. Yikes, what do we have? We have me, Bohemia, France, Portugal, Burgundy, and Spain. Alright, I'd say the sides are pretty even. Although Spain and I are having some minor disagreements. Very minor. Yeah, I just need France get fucked up somehow. Like, get into a lot of debt, and then I can attack Spain. Maybe I could beat Spain. I'm not too sure about that, though. Yeah, I'm down the war on professional. That sounds good to me. Also, yeah, let's get you down here to Rome so you can continue to train. Because, yeah, I would like my armed professionals to keep taking up. I've just been, eh, not really bothering too much with it. Rebels, hooray. They're not a big deal, though. Oh, yeah, also my governing capacity. Yeah, it's going to be increased a little bit, unfortunately. Oh, come on, man. Really? Come on. I want the inventiveness. You bitch. Oh, global traders, yeah, spawning so quickly. 
Well, actually, do we have the thing where it spreads to cardinals or whatever? No. Oh well. Not a big deal. Global trade spawns pretty quickly anyways. <sighs> do I just take this or do I wait? <laughs> I feel like I should probably just wait. Uh oh. What is going on here? Oh. Catholic Zealots and... What did you do? You stupid little march, you. I have no clue what the hell they did. Actually, didn't, um, didn't you get a mission tree? You have a bit of a mission tree. Uh, I could give them, yeah, some of their land that need for the mission tree. That'll be a bad idea, actually, yeah. Do they have permanent claims in there? Oh, they do. I guess I'll, yeah, feed the land to the knights when I want to fight the Ottomans. Yeah, besides, I'm pretty much capped out my fucking governing capacity. I've been for a while, so. Alright, what, what are we looking at on coring this shit? Almost done. Millennia. Or some shit. Oh, my stupid general died. Oh, well. The other general is training. Actually, you know what? Just got a new general. Oh, that's a good general, actually. Shit. Yeah, this general's gonna take no shit from these rebel scum. Alright, let's do some development. Let's see here. Oh, wait, no, I gotta sort it by development, not the price, because I don't care about the price, I just care about uh, getting shit up to their next tier if possible. Let's see, so the next one to get to 30 dev would be 6 dev, versus the next one for 20, which would be 4. You know, I really should. Oh, fuck it. No Vara. Oh, no, he has reduced dev cost. Hell yeah. Uh, let's bring Navara up for dev. If I can fucking find it again. Ah, shit. Well, that's annoying. There we go. 20 dev. Arezzo? Do you have that? No. Ah, fuck hell. Oh, for fucking fuck. <laughs> I know where it is. I'm just gonna find and look for it. At least I think I know where it is. <laughs> uh, I don't know where it is. God damn it. A-R-E-E-Z. How the fuck do you spell it? <laughs> fuck. I fucking fat fingered it at first, and now I can't even fucking spell it. Uh, A-R-E-Z-Z-O. Oh, fuck. Why can I... Fucking ah, there we go. Ah, shit. God, that was a pain. Fuck. Ah. Wait, why are you guys taking attrition? You shouldn't be taking attrition. Oh, well, they're barely taking attrition. That's fine. All right, let's convert the stuff over here first. So let's convert these two provinces. And then I can look to just converting whatever the hell I want in over here. What do you mean I lost trading in paper? What kind of bullshit is that? Oh, no, I got trading in paper. Okay. Yeah, no, it was trading in glass I was thinking of. Although I might actually lose trading in glass, because I actually don't have that much. And I am supposed to lose trading in paper, but the game's fucky like that. Tactical genius, good lad. I just wish uh, you would have had that before I made that general, but no oh well. And those rebels are dumb as fuck, confirmed. Yeah, unfortunately... Oh, fuck. That's not what I wanted to say. No, no, the Mamluks are supposed to keep the Ottomans in check. They aren't keeping them in check. I don't like this. Yeah, I might have to be the one to put the Ottomans in line. I really don't like it, though. Alright, should be able to add everything into Clemson. Give me more power. Hmm. 
Yeah, how's the League War looking? Uh, it looks about the same as when I last looked at it. Oh, the Empire is really just fucked up right now. Yeah, no, it seems like Heretic Princes are a lot more problematic these days. I guess because there's just more Princes, so it's going to drain it by even more. Yeah, damn. I mean, I guess I'll help you, Morocco, because I do want you to pirate the Iberians for me. And yeah, when I add this to the trade network, that'll be pretty good. Oh yeah, I should probably upgrade my centers of trade in the Venice node. I actually only had like one that I had to upgrade. Oh. Do I have a market in all of them? I do. Well, shit, yeah, there's not much I can really do about it. Aside from taking more of the Venice node, but I don't really care about it at this point. Would be nice if global trade would spawn for me though, so I don't have to worry about my text costing a little bit more. Oh yeah, you know what, actually? Uh, did I convert this one already? Uh, I did, okay, good. Yeah, let's upgrade the fort here. That actually already has the, uh, that building, good. Uh, does this already have a... Yes, it does already have a marketplace. Good. More conversions. They use Volt and all that. Yeah, no, I think me being the uh, supreme ruler of Northern Africa sounds pretty good. I might even take Sub-Saharan Africa. We'll see. Holy shit, why are my clergy so fucking happy? The fuck did I do? Equilibrium is currently 82%. Base 30, 10% Theocracy, 2.5 Devotion, minus 5 Religious States. I don't remember what that's from. Oh, it's that, right. Um, clergy Land Ownership, Supremacy over the Papacy, Fully Religious, Curia Controller, Prestige, Religious Unity. Damn. That's a lot of shit. Alright, let's see what I can do for a mission. The Three Leagues isn't Catholic again? Fuck's sake, I'm tired of throwing those assholes. Uh, I need to own all of everything in Tyrol. I need to have Ancona have a marketplace. I'm guessing that means that it has... Why do you want a marketplace there, exactly? I'm gonna be honest, I don't like any of these missions. I guess I'll do the burger one, because at least that gives me a free point of development for 90 gold, so... Well, I guess it's not free, then, if it costs me 90 gold, but whatever. Let's see, is there another province that is close to being uh, next year? Let's see. Yeah, I think six is for, like the higher tiers. Let's look at Month for Otto. Uh, that actually might already have a thing on it. No, it doesn't, but I can do it anyways. There we go. Mont Ferranto is somewhere in here. And I'm going to develop the shit out of it. Alright, let's see. I need to do more... Uh, of those, yeah, I need to do more admin clicks, so. There we go. Yeah, I'll just keep developing shit whenever I need to do that. Excellent. Uh, I'm doing Melilla right now, so that's fine. Ah, oh, the Council of Trent ends. Cool. Um, wasn't this the Council of Trent in here? Yeah. It wasn't very good, I feel. Because France chose the wrong path. It might have worked if we chose the correct path, but no, France is dumb. Right, let's see, two more years, and then I can grab the Tex. Uh, England entered an alliance with... Beirut? The fuck is Beirut? What the fuck are you? Which which one even are you? Oh, you're the yellow guy, okay. God damn it. You know, the HRE is such a goddamn mess, you can't even find the fucking nation you're looking for in there half the time. Uh, 
Uh, did I delete the fort that was here? I did. Okay, good. Yeah, I don't think the League of War is going to trigger anytime soon. Oh, never mind. It's triggered. <laughs> I'm just oblivious as fuck. <laughs> oh, damn. All right. Well, I suppose we will handle the League of War in the next episode because this, this is going to be a big war. Although it is very heavily in our favor. But I'll see you next time.